Hello, welcome again to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. Today I'm in the barn and I'm going to introduce you to the way I incubate eggs here on the farm. Today we're going to talk about the little giant forced air incubator. This incubator comes with an adjustable thermostat. You want your thermostat settings adjusted to 99.9 .9 degrees Fahrenheit. A thermometer to help assist you with maintaining that 99.9 .9 degrees temperature. That is the perfect temperature for incubating eggs. The optional accessories that come with a basic forest air incubator, this is originally sold as a steel air incubator, and separately you could buy the fan that you can install. Another accessory that you can purchase to assist your incubating success is the automatic egg turner. This egg turner accommodates 42 chicken eggs, duck eggs, or a medium-sized goose egg. The base comes with reservoirs to fill with water to maintain a humidity level in the system. I like to fold up paper towels and line this area with the paper towels and soak them with water to uh, addition for additional maintenance of that humidity. This also comes with a screen to put over the top of the water so when the babies hatch they don't fall through to the water. This also comes with the addition of the automatic egg uh, turner which comes separate. This has to be purchased separate. And then the automatic egg turner fits right in there. Make sure the cord fits through this little notch. In addition to the egg turner, you have the lid. Place the thermometer inside before you place any eggs in. And this allows you to come to the 99.5 degree Fahrenheit temperature uh, by adjusting your thermostat and you do not have to do that for 24 hours prior to putting any eggs in. Over time the potentiometer will start corroding down within the inner workings of that little potentiometer. Because of the human conditions within the incubator. My thermostat control became corroded and no longer works so I ended up removing this and jerry-rigging a whole new system. What I did was I installed a regular thermostat inside the system. Now this thermostat does not go up to 99.9 .9, so I had to break off a little stop tab on this to be able to adjust it further and adjust it as much as I could so this would go up and I can adjust it to 99.5 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. I was successful in incubating a batch of eggs using this thermostat. So if your thermostat breaks, there's options of buying a replacement online, and which is a little bit expensive, but I'm on a budget. So I had to make do with what I had. I had this thermostat on hand, so I used this one as an emergency install to get these eggs hatched. It takes approximately 21 days for a chicken egg to hatch. Five days prior to that hatching time, you'll want to take the eggs out of the egg turner and lay it down and do not turn the eggs for the five days. The chick inside the egg is going to uh, get into position and then you'll notice it start pipping on the 21st day. In preparation for hatching, when the chick hatches within the in incubator, it's going to come out a little wet and ugly. You're going to want to let that chick to stay within the incubator for 24 hours. In preparation of uh, removing the chicks out of the incubator, you'll want to get a brooder ready. A brooder can consist of any box. The box size must be high enough to allow for safety of the chick and to prevent drafts from entering into the area. Oh, there's the brooders. They're all set up and ready to go. There's the brooder for the chickens and the brooders for the ducks. And I've got goslings coming in from Texas next in two weeks. This is the current brooder I am using up in my barn here at 
Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. There's the heat lamp. I have it set at one end of the brooder. And you notice the high sides to keep drafts away. I have the waterer away from the light so that the water, the water can stay, maintain a cool temperature so the chicks can cool off as they need to. And of course the feeder. And they have this whole run to get well away from the light if they get too hot. We're here at the travel trailer now where I like to keep my incubators. I'm able to use the travel trailer furnace in maintaining a nice steady environment in which the incubator sets, which gives me greater success at maintaining a, a more constant temperature within the incubator itself. Let's go into the travel trailer and I'll show you my incubation of my eggs. Here's my little giant egg incubator. I have it in the travel trailer because it's out of the way. It's in a protected environment. <clears throat> and I got the eggs in there hatching. It's keeping at 99.5 degrees Fahrenheit. I got my Buff Orpington eggs there. I managed to get eight eggs to incubate and I got 20 Pekins eggs there. Since this is the only incubator I have, I'm trying to double the incubating time between the duck egg and the chicken egg. The chicken eggs are now hatching out. They should be coming today. Today is the 21st day, so either today or tomorrow I'll start uh, hearing the hatching. I heard a peep from one of the eggs in there. I assume it's a chicken egg because the duck egg's too early to tell. I didn't candle these, so I don't know how many are viable. Unfortunately, I lost all my ducks to coyotes, but I managed to get eggs in the incubator before the, uh, my last duck got at. And there you have it. Hopefully, I'll end up with uh, some males and some females to uh, regenerate my flock. And then I'm down to three chickens, two hens and one rooster. And hopefully this will give me a start. My little chief incubator did it again. It looks like I have baby buff Orpington chick hatching. I have 12 eggs in here. Took them out of the egg turner three days ago. Set them down and let them set for or incubate for two days or three days. And there's three right here that are pipping right now. You can see where they're that one, there, and there. I notice the commonality with chicken eggs and duck eggs, you set them out you set them down, don't turn them. They all pip the chick will get in the uh, rotating position, the ducklings will rotate in position, and they'll pip right at that point right there on all the eggs. Interesting. Anyway, I uh, was careful as to not turn the eggs. I just moved them around to separate the ones that are pipping. So these will pip a, start pipping, and they'll start zipping and hatch. Maybe I'll name these three Zip, or Pip, Zip, and Hatch. Huh. Get the heat back on them. It's important to keep the water in them. I pulled the plugs out uh, to give more ventilation uh, and kept the water in the uh, reservoir filled. Kept the temperature right at 99.9. .9. Instructions say keep 99.9. .9. Chicken eggs are 21 days. On the 19th day, take them out of the egg turner, the automatic egg turner, and set them where they are for three days. And on the third day, they'll start hatching. And this is the third. This is actually the 21st day. So those three eggs are right on the money. All right, there you go.
Okay, this one's dead. Got about a 50% success rate. Started out with a dozen eggs. Six hatched. Oh, wait, that is moving.